Welcome back, Average Guy DIY fam. As you can see, today is a very tedious day. We are using some wood filler to fill all the cracks, divots, and holes uh, in the top side of this boat. Using wood filler is a lot like uh, filling drywall holes if you've ever done that before. It's the exact same process and it even kind of works the exact same as well. So just remember, if you haven't watched part one of this series, you'll know that we sanded down the whole top side of this boat first before starting this process. I'm physically smushing the wood filler down into the crevices and the cracks of this boat. And even after this, we still have to go over it again with a sander to make sure everything is flush. Wood filler is also semi-malleable, so it hardens quite quick. This is obviously the other side, but you can see how nice the wood filler fills all the gaps. The holes you see that are left are intended to be there for pieces I need to put back in place. In our previous video, you'll notice we repaired these corners, and look how nice they came out after they were filled with the wood filler. You'll also notice that the wood filler is actually quite messy, so you can imagine how much sanding we're going to have to do after this point. When it comes to sanding, you should always keep a routine or a process so you know what's been done, you're not going over the same thing too many times. Here you can see how nice it looks with the cracks filled, sanded, and wiped down. Now it's on to painting the deck. The white hull itself also needs some detailed paint work, uh, but we're not going to get to that right yet. Lining up the tape isn't going to be super, super important in this case because we're going to be using a semi-transparent paint, but it's always good to do just so that we don't get any color distortion. Obviously, before doing any painting, you want to make sure to wipe down the deck really good. Uh, you can use a little bit of alcohol and just wipe down the whole thing so that it's nice and dry and all the dust and dirt and particles are off of it. With the boat deck all nice and clean, we can get ready to start painting. Before I apply the paint, you can see that the luster on it is completely gone. So this paint hopefully will add some of that back. I'm really not a skilled painter, so I decided to use a paint roller instead of a paint brush. I think this just makes the process easier. Here the first coat is on and you can really see the division and the difference between the left side and the right side. This is the entire deck painted with two coats of semi-transparent paint. Keeping in mind I've only painted the deck because of the repairs that needed to be done on the right and left edges. Obviously, this is the next day, and I'm just removing the painting tape. Now it's time for a nice deep cleaning. And that's it for now. I've put all the pieces of the boat back in place and you can see how nice and delicate it looks now. Also, the inside of the hull is nice and clean and as you can see, most of the interior wood is in pretty good shape.
And lastly, on this episode, I just wanted to show you guys a picture of the mast, which is hanging here. It's 20 and a half feet long, and it is beautiful. Once again, Average Guy DIY family, thanks so much for joining me for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And take care and enjoy your day.